So San Diego Comic-Con, it opened up. Here comes Kevin Feige. He's announcing the entire face. Oh, and where is Spider-Man? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, man. I'm, I'm where's Spider-Man? Is he canceled? Is he canceled? Is this what's happening? Are they canceling it? Is so, Avi. Okay, guys, so I've seen a lot of people freaking out over the no announcement of a third Spider-Man film at the Marvel Studios panel at San Diego Comic-Con. Now, if we just look at history, this shouldn't be anything that worries anybody, but let me try to explain why exactly and when we can possibly expect the announcement. So first and foremost, I think people forget how history worked with Spider-Man. After that giant leak with Sony and everything that came out, then we found out that Spider-Man would be appearing in a Marvel Studios film and would be controlled by Marvel Studios and everything would be funded by Sony and they would produce the Spider-Man films. San Diego Con Comic-Con 2015 came and went by and there was nothing on Spider-Man. This is almost, I think, six or seven months after Kevin Feige came out and announced the entire slate that was coming out with Age of Ultron and all that obviously around the corner and then seeing how they were going to go into Infinity War part one and part two. June San Diego Comic-Con, nothing. People were freaking out. Two and a half weeks later, Sony announces that their Spider-Man film will be directed by John Watts and that they're moving forward with a release date. Now, you have to understand here what's happening. Marvel Studios is making the Spider-Man films in theory. They're not the ones funding the bill forward. They're not flipping the bill. What they're doing is getting their suit designers, their guys on it, you know, to come up with the villain, the story and everything. They give it to Sony. Sony follows their rules and they make the film. They put it out. Sony reaps the benefits of having Spidey in the MCU and making tons of money. Marvel benefits from having Spider-Man in there. That's the exchange there. Marvel Studios cannot announce another Spider-Man film because Disney investors want to know what's coming to the Disney investors. Sony investors want to know what's coming to Sony. So when you move forward, Sony is the one that has to make the announcement about the third Spider-Man film. That's exactly how they did it with the second film. That's how they did it with the first film. That's even how the announcements went for the rest of everything that they do that's partnership with the MCU. And you have to understand that this is exactly what happened. So freaking out about it, kind of, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, is the film canceled? That's not it. If we just follow the pattern, you can probably expect an announcement for Spider-Man in the near future. And yes, he will be in the MCU. 